They are hockey's masked men. Iconic names like Cheevers, Dryden, Fuhr, and Brodeur. Sarnia artist Michael Slotwinski. Michael Slotwinski. Okay, with Michael Slotwinski. Yeah, Michael Slotwinski. Oh, the, res the response has been overwhelming. Uh, the, the Sarnia Sting said that I could come back as often as I'd like. And I was a main feature during their uh, Sarnia art walk. Uh, the guys I worked with in Kingston told me that this was their favorite event that they've ever had. Um, the lady who set up the NHL Alumni Awards introduced me to the people at Scotia Bank, who then had me set up my artwork as the backdrop uh, to their Greats with the Greats wine tasting event that they held in Ottawa. Um, that they mainly had put in there. Uh, I had the guys uh, who worked with the Hockey Hall of Fame talking about my artwork with me uh, when I displayed alongside with them during their uh, traveling exhibit. Uh, and uh, after I had a segment in the Fish Player Report, uh, I began receiving emails from people in New York, LA, and Chicago. Slotwinski has been traveling to hockey arenas and attracts a crowd wherever he goes. They're pointing out, saying, oh, that's my favorite. Oh, I don't like that one. And they're trying to name them off to all their buddies. Well, I've created 25 paintings in total. There is Jerry Cheevers, Dominic Hasek, Terry Sawchuk, Ken Dryden, Felix Potvin, Mike Richter, Tony Esposito, Curtis Ridley, Bernie Perron, John Davidson, Edwards, James Ryan, and Carey Price, Martin Broder, Patrick Wall, Mike Palmatier, uh, Jimmy Rutherford, Jacques Plum, Doug Sotart, Andy Moog, Roberto Luongo, You have young kids who walk up and go just like this. They can't believe it. And their parents would tell them, yeah, those are paintings. And he's the artist. And they look at me and are stunned and are like, wow, I can't believe it. You also have the older folks who walk up. They bring their buddies up and point out which ones they love and try to name them all and make it into a game. And then you have the actual people who come up and talk to me and go through the entire history of the game and stats and stuff and what makes these players so popular. I tried to give people something new to look at, different perspectives you've never seen before. Normally, the camera angles of reporters are always from the same angles, and so I try to give you something new. As well, you have the whole development of the goalie mask from the last half century as they went from attached to your face with crude, simple design structures to the caged masks where the, you have the whole development of the art style, which didn't exist before. It was more meant about protection, but they began drawing painting logos in that, iconic artworks on them, and that became a way that you could, well, they could represent themselves and you could know who your hero was that was playing for your team. What I'd like to be able to do is to take my artwork uh, to NHL arenas across the nation. Well, actually, I'd, I'd love to work for the NHL. I'd, I'd like to do paintings for them. I think that, uh, that'd be a highlight of my career. I've only been an artist for a year and a half now, and uh, well, the best is yet to come.